Hi everyone, Giuliano here. In Microsoft Teams, you have the ability to create and use your avatar during a meeting for any kind of reason you don't want to appear physically in the meeting. For this scenario, you can create your avatar in avatars. Microsoft has improved the way how you can create your avatar. Now, in a few clicks, you can create your avatar uploading your image or by taking a picture with your camera. All right, let me show you every step how you can create in a few clicks your avatar in Microsoft Teams. Let's go. Here I have the new Microsoft Teams open. Let's start to open avatars. To do that, I'm going to click on the three dots and then on avatars, which I have already installed. Now that avatars is opening, we can see that I already created one of my avatar. You have the ability to create up to three avatars. So let's start to create the second one. And there is now a new functionality here available called auto-generate. I'm going to use this one. Now in this page, I have the ability to select upload image or use my camera. I'm going to use my camera and now I will show up on the screen. Here we go. All right, let's start now to take this picture so we can move to the next step. To take a picture, I have to click on this button. All right, here we go. It's now I have my picture. I can click on the button next. And now I have to select the skin color. Let's go with this one, pink badge. Let me hit the button next. And now my avatar will be generated. And here we go. My avatar is created. I have three possible options. One with hairs, and this is not my option. And there is this other one, which it seems that there are some hair. And this is completely where my profile is completely bald. Let's go with this one and then let's hit the button next. Here you have to select the body sides. Let's go with this normal one. Next again. And now I have outfit. It doesn't matter which one you select. You can always change it in a second stage. All right, later I can select even the color. Let's go with next. I have now my second avatar selected. So I can click now on save and customize so I can make some adjustment. So I can change the skin color. I can change hair. I can make some makeup, body and on wardrobe. And then here I have to remove my the hover layer so I can select uh, the under layer. So let's remove this. Let's go back. Now I can select this one and I can change the color. I can let's say white this one and then let's click on finish customizing. All right. Now my avatar is ready to go. My second avatar. Let's create a third one. And in this case, I'm going to click on the button upload. Here you have this check and this suggestion, the resolution of your image, the extension. This will trigger again when you upload your image. Let me show you. So let me click on the button continue. I have on my desktop this nice and beautiful picture. So let me click on open. And now I can use this photo. This is perfect. If you have something that doesn't look or doesn't follow the requirement, you I'm, you are going to see the message on the screen that tell you what kind of thing you have to adjust, for example, the resolution or the extension and so on. Let's go again with pink badge and now let's click on next and let's see the final result. And here we go again with the final result. It's pretty similar to the first one. So let's go with next. Again, the body size, next, and finally you can change the outfit. Here you can pick just one, the one that you want. You can always at any time change it. So let's click now on save and finish. And voila, my avatar is created. 
As I mentioned it, you can always select your avatar, click on customize and change your outfit if you want. Let me change it. Don't forget to remove the over layer if you have, otherwise the under layer will not appear. So you will not see any kind of change. So let me go with outfit. I'm going to select one which is formal so I can differentiate any use case. So let's go with this one. Finish customization and here we go. I have one, two and three. And the last one is my formal uh, avatar for important uh, event or meetings. All right, I hope you will enjoy this new capability in the avatars app in Microsoft Teams. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please consider to subscribe, like, add a comment down below, let me know what do you think about avatars and if you want to see much more improvements on it. All right, I hope to see you next time. Bye.